The following story, images, music, mistakes, as well as this disclaimer, were all generated by artificial intelligence and are a work of fiction. Any resemblance to actual persons, living or dead, or actual events or places, is purely coincidental. The characters, events, and places depicted in this story are entirely fi- Fade, in. Next. New York Street Day. Sarah, a charming and attractive woman in her 30s, walks out of a coffee shop holding a cup of coffee. She takes a sip and looks around the bustling street. Suddenly, she bumps into John, a handsome man in his late 30s, who is rushing past her. Oh, I'm so sorry. It's okay. He pauses and looks at her. You have beautiful eyes. Blushing, thank you. That's very kind of you. Do you have any plans for tonight? No, not really. How about dinner? My treat. Smiling, I'd love that. Great. How about I pick you up at seven? Sounds perfect. John smiles and walks away as Sarah watches him go with a grin on her face. Cut to Sarah's face looking dreamy as she takes another sip of her coffee. Fade out. Fade in. Interior. Sarah's apartment later. Sarah is getting ready for her date. She stands in front of the mirror, checking herself out in a dress that she picked especially for tonight, muttering to herself, OK, you've got this. You're going to have a great time tonight. Suddenly, her phone rings. She picks it up and sees that it's her best friend, Julia. Hey girl, what's up? Hey. So, how's it going with the hot guy you met on the street earlier today? Smiling, it's going well. We're actually going out tonight. Ooh, girl. You better give me all the details. Is he cute? He's gorgeous. And he seems really sweet. That's amazing. I'm so happy for you. Thanks, girl. I'm really looking forward to tonight. Well, you better tell me everything tomorrow. Have a great time. Sarah hangs up the phone and takes a deep breath, feeling excited and nervous all at once. Cut to interior. John's apartment later. John is also getting ready for the date. He looks in the mirror and runs his hand through his hair. Okay, you got this. Just be yourself and have fun. His phone rings and he sees that it's his best friend, Mike. What's up, man? Dude, how's it going with the girl you met on the street earlier? It's going well. We're actually going out tonight. No way. That's awesome, man. Is she hot? She's beautiful. And she seems really cool. That's great, man. I'm happy for you. Thanks, dude. I'm really looking forward to tonight. Well, you better give me all the details tomorrow. Have a good one. John hangs up the phone and takes a deep breath, feeling excited and nervous all at once. Cut to interior. Restaurant later. Sarah and John are sitting at a table, looking at the menu. So, do you come here often? No, actually this is my first time here. But I heard good things about it. Me too. I've been wanting to try it out for a while now. Well, I'm glad we could try it out together. They smile at each other and continue to chat throughout the dinner, their chemistry growing with each passing moment. Fade out. Fade in. Interior. Restaurant later. Sarah and John are finishing up their dessert, laughing and enjoying each other's company. So, tell me more about yourself. What do you do for fun? Well, I like to read and take long walks around the city. I also love to travel. That's awesome. Where's the last place you went? I actually just got back from a trip to Italy. It was amazing. Wow, I've always wanted to go there. What was your favorite part of the trip? Definitely the food. Everything was so delicious. And the wine, oh my god. They both laugh. Well, I'm definitely going to have to take you out to a good Italian restaurant sometime. Smiling, I'd like that. As they finish up their date and say their goodbyes, Sarah and John both feel the sparks of attraction growing stronger between them. Cut to interior. Sarah's apartment later. Sarah walks into her apartment with a sense of excitement and contentment. Muttering to herself, wow, that was amazing. What a great guy. She takes out her phone and texts her best friend. Just got back from the best date ever. Can't wait to tell you all about. As she jumps onto her bed, her phone lights up with a message from John. Had a great time tonight. Can't wait to see you again. Sarah grins from ear to ear as she sets her phone down and closes her eyes, falling asleep with a happy heart. Fade out. The end. Thank you for tuning in to AI Stories. We hope you enjoyed today's video, and if you did, don't forget to give us a thumbs up and hit the subscribe button with the notification bell turned on, so you never miss an upload.
We love hearing your thoughts and ideas, so please feel free to drop a comment below and let us know what you'd like to see us tackle next. Whether it's more of the same or something entirely different, we're always up for a challenge. And with that, we'll wrap things up for now. Thanks again for watching and we look forward to seeing you again soon.